makes it awkward when you do things like that. This story time is kind of parts of two, but mostly about um, uh, the bellhop. It'll be a little bit of me talking about what happened when security came to our room. And then the second part will be about the bellhop. Oh, 15%, I need to turn my phone. Well, let me say it really quick. But we were in the wrong, well, I didn't do it, but the whatever happened, we were in the wrong for being on the, um, like off the balcony, we were really close, so you could go on to there. I did this in high school, so I went on the roof. So I don't know, like it really didn't occur to me, like I know that they have liability issues and if someone gets hurt, like it's on them and you know, all those types of things. So like I totally understand where they're coming from on the other, and we were in the wrong, but the way they went about it was just really rude. It was just so fucking rude. I didn't like, like, oh, when we knock on the door, you know, you don't ask who it is. But I even said this to him, I was like, I couldn't see through the people, so I didn't really know if it was security or not. And if it is, I wanna, like, I don't know what it's about. So I need to be very careful because to be 100% honest, anyone in like the police, mall cop, like all that type of field, I don't have a lot of trust in them. Like for obvious reasons, come on now, it's really obvious. Like there's, one is like personal stuff that I've gone through with them. Like anytime I'm around a cop, they're usually trying to fucking lock me up or give me a ticket. So it's not a positive experience. So I need to make sure that all my ducks are in a row. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to get like fucking arrested at a con. Like, that, no, 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 no. Come on now, really, I don't want to get arrested at a con for that. But like, he just was really rude about it. But on a positive note, there was a, a hotel staff, I forget her name, but she was hotel staff. She has helped me literally the entire weekend. Any problem I've had, she was there. Check in, check out, I need uh, another card because our cards aren't working, everything. And she was so nice about it. But the bellhop, was not let me start walking to go charge my phone but if i had cash on me i would have but i lost i had my debit card and stuff i didn't have any cash all the i had like i think oh yeah because i had to leave and come back so i didn't have any money on me all my stuff was in the car downstairs because chauncey was waiting for me and um i came up just to let everybody in the room and i had to go run all those errands and do all that stuff like i i yeah i knew that like tipping your bellhop was a thing you know what I mean and I could tell that he wanted one because he was like oh do you guys have change and then I was like because I guess he wanted like a tip and I was like I don't, oh my goodness like if he would have just said I don't know that's that's why it's like that makes it awkward when you do things like that because then probably when I had money I probably would have been like oh you know thanks for helping us but he was literally so fucking rude to oh my god he was so like like not rude he was standoffish about it but then when I check out, he's there. You can tell he's still like, like feel some type of way about um, about when we checked in. You can tell he remembered us. Cause probably I don't know if we're the only ones who didn't. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they gave him a tip or not. I don't fucking know. Cause I had to leave right back out. That's why I got everyone their key cards and stuff like that. So then, hang on, hang on. so then, oh yeah, so. During checkout, we went to go check out. He was there, mm -hmm. and um, what happened? Oh, the light is being low. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I prefer um, that it. Not we were checking out. He was there, and my suitcase. I don't know if I filmed or whatever. My suitcase is really short. Let's so, do two separate tickets. And uh, um, Denise has broken her handle. My friend, she's broken her handle on her thing from putting too much stuff on it. So I was like, oh, can I just you know get another ticket for that because. I don't want that to break, you know what I mean? And he was just like, no, it's fine, like, I got it, da, 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 da. Like, just giving me a lot of fucking attitude about it. Perfect. So I'm like, I do not want you guys, to, I'm just like thinking, like, I don't want you guys to break my shit, please don't break my shit. Like, and then like, folding up my cows, like crumbling up the collar, he's like, oh, I don't know how to do this. I'm like, oh, you know, I just tuck it in. Okay, so I'm trying to like, not make it awkward. But then like, I think I walk away for a second and then the other, and then he was, I think he needed help with my stuff, I don't know or to know where something was. So like I go back to it and then the strap on the bag that my aunt gave me broke. And I was like, I was like, you know, when the bad stuff happens, I just try not to, hold on, this bad life. But, um, oh yeah, you broke my shit. And then I try not to make a big deal out of it. Because like, okay, it already happened. What am I gonna do? It's already broken, there's nothing I can do about it. But it just really sucks that he didn't listen to me. And then my stuff got broken and resulted that. I really want you guys to let me know what you think about the story time to see if I should do more. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.